here's an interesting little snippet. One of the interesting conversations online is this whole thing of uh, nylon cage bearings versus steel. And one of the arguments has always been about, well, when the nylon cage bearing goes, the material that gets uh, put into the saw is harmless. It's just nylon. Well, here's another one that's pretty typical. And one of the balls came out. You got bits and pieces are bashed into the case. Luckily, didn't put a hole through the case. But you can see where right there, some of that uh, metal balls got pushed into the case and got sheared by the crank. Kind of special, huh? By the way, that's not atypical. If you go back to some of my videos, um, I've got cases like that from 372s where uh, when the x torques first came out with the nylons, um, combination of heat and other things made them fail pretty quick. And the balls would come out and just ruin a saw. Well, this one here is, I think, salvageable because fortunately the ball got sheared before it actually pushed a hole in the case. But uh, there you go. That's what happens when the nylons fail is there's a very thin period of time between when it goes lean because the seal's gone to when it starts letting the, the, uh, the balls actually get into the saw and just ruin it. I don't have the cylinder from this saw, so I don't know what it looks like, but I suspect it doesn't look pretty. Now, this has been a project that's not a whole lot of fun. And one of the things we had to do was pull the axles. Chain and a big hammer was the best way of doing that. Had to take off the bottom section, pull out the fenders and all that just to get clearance. But I had bought this tool right here. I was hoping that would save me some hassle. And I guess I got to make the point that it's a total waste of money. It just doesn't have the rigidity to do anything. So I ended up going right back to the old vise. I was hoping to be able to change the stars in there, but that's not happening.